So what are the physical characteristics of critically damping? Let's look at our experiment where m is 1 and k is 1. And if we set b equal to 2, then b squared equals 4mk, and we have critically damping. What's the difference between critically damping under damping over damping? What's this transition that happens at critically damping? Well, let's start by taking something that's just slightly underdamped and release at position 3 with velocity 0. There is oscillation here. Even though it's very slight and we don't see it, this system did oscillate forever oscillates about the origin, but the oscillations are so small that they're just unnoticeable. On the other hand, if we have just a little too much damping, there'll be no more oscillation. It'll just take the system longer to get back to equilibrium. So before the solution gets close to the origin, so close that we can't tell the difference anymore, it took a little bit longer. Now what happens if we split the difference? What is critical damping? Critical damping is what gets you back to equilibrium as soon as possible. And so what we should see when we release this experiment is that our position curve should trace out just between underdamped and overdamped. It's kind of like just right damping in the story of Goldilocks and the Three Engineers. Splits the curve right down the middle and it's back to equilibrium relatively quickly. That's what critically dampling means physically.